Alright everybody, what is going on? How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to be talking about some changes uh, that YouTube has been making, is planning on making some things like that. I think it's pretty interesting uh, because YouTube has changed a lot and I think it's important that everybody kind of knows what's going on regardless if you make content, watch it, or whatever because this is some stuff that could, you know, affect you in some type of way and like I said, YouTube's always changing shit, so it's just, I think it's important that you guys kind of know what's going on. Alright, so first off, I want to talk about the changes that YouTube is making regarding uh, Twitter and how you are notified through Twitter. Because if you have your, if you guys didn't know, if you guys have your Twitter account connected to your YouTube account, then whenever you do something, if you have it turned on, um, your Twitter account will actually notify all of your followers. Like, so I have it on. And pretty much whenever I upload a video, it automatically posts to my Twitter that I uploaded a video. And, you know, some people have it set to where it shows every time they like a video or every time they add a video to a playlist. And I think that's pretty cool. I kind of like it that, um, you know, you can kind of show Twitter what you're doing on YouTube. You can kind of promote your video without actually having to manually go and do it. But now YouTube has um, decided to take that out. Here is actually a picture of the email that they sent out regarding this. I don't know if everybody got it or if it's just for creators that have their uh, Twitter account hooked up to their YouTube or whatever. But basically it just says, you know, we're uh, taking this out. You can't automatically um, notify your Twitter followers what's going on anymore. You know, you can still uh, manually do it. But to me, that just kind of ruins the whole point of having your Twitter account connected. Like you can, if you want to share something on Twitter now, it doesn't matter if you have it connected or not because you can just, uh, you know, copy your link and manually share it. So I don't really understand why this is. I can understand what I'm about to talk about in a minute. The uh, community guideline changes sort of, um, they sort of make some sense. But as far as this right here, I think this is actually a downgrade. It's actually definitely a downgrade because I've never heard anybody complain about this. And personally, I think it's something that was kind of convenient to have. And um, them taking this out is just kind of an inconvenience for me. And um, at the time I'm recording this, um, they haven't actually taken this into effect yet. I did. I don't know exactly when they're planning on putting this into effect. But um, I can say that as of this moment I am talking, um, that email has not come into effect yet. Alright, but anyway, enough with that. Into the community guideline changes, there was actually three uh, main points that you two um, announced that they were going to, you know, be altering a little bit. Starting out with the one that I found least significant, it's basically just about external links, meaning, um, you know, links you put in your description or leave on screen or whatever. It's pretty much just telling you don't link viruses in your descriptions, don't link porn or whatever, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, so that's actually not... You know, that's not very controversial. That's pretty simple. Um, that's not something that's going to really cause, you know, very much, you know, disruption in the community. Uh, that's pretty simple. And that's the one that I find least significant out of all these changes. Next up, though, was absolutely a major change. And this is something, this is actually what I think is going to affect the most creators. It definitely will, um, or at least it most likely will. And it's basically about thumbnails. You know, the little images that you see uh, before you click on a video. And basically what it's saying is, is you can now get community guideline strikes on your channel for having a thumbnail that YouTube doesn't like. And, um, you know, it had to do with like, you know, uh, violence or, you know, like again, uh, sexually explicit images. But the problem I have with this is it doesn't say, like it says violence, but that, you know, raises the question, what kind of violence is it talking about? Is it talking about real life violence? Is it talking about fictional violence? Because if it's talking about fictional violence, then, you know, videos on YouTube can be flagged super easy in the gaming community. You know, for example, like this video right here, I'm using a Black Ops 4 gameplay. If I were to put Black Ops 4 um, in the title and then have a uh, thumbnail of somebody getting shot, would that be considered violence and be able to be flagged? I mean, I'd sure hope not. It's, you know, it's just, you know, simple fiction violence. It's not anything major, but, you know, YouTube doesn't really explain that guideline very well. And um, if you guys didn't know, they have bots that go through and, you know, they flag everything first. And then, um, you know, sometimes they say they're manually reviewed. I don't know if I completely agree with that because sometimes they still just have super poor judgment on the decisions they actually make. Um, so, you know, YouTube's got a wacky system going on, so that really scares me on, you know, I could make, you know, just a simple gaming video possibly, and it'd be flagged because of the thumbnail. The, it literally said that the whole entire video could be fine, 
but you could receive a strike on your channel for the thumbnail that you put on your video and in case you guys don't know like if you get a strike on your channel you might as well just you know make a whole new channel you like not even upload because when you get a strike on your channel um, you lose all type of all types of you know your features on your account you know your monetization gets screwed up so you can't really make money um, you know you lose access to thumbnails you lose access to pretty much anything that um, you know makes um, being a part of the partner program worth it you know it's it's awful having a uh, community guideline strike I had to deal with one a whole long time ago you know it was like a copyright strike or something um, I'm thankful that that was back when you know I was just starting out and I wasn't you know very serious about anything because having to deal with something like that now would just absolutely suck and community guideline strikes are no fun so to imagine that people are gonna have to be dealing with that because of thumbnails oh man that three bad thumbnails and your channel could be erased think about that that could get really really bad really quick now this final change YouTube is making also doesn't give a great explanation it's basically about dangerous challenges and pranks um, so it's basically saying if you're uploading dangerous challenges or pranks, you know, your YouTube account could receive a strike or whatever. And, um, it didn't really used to be like that. And so, for example, if you uploaded one of those bird box challenge videos of you, uh, you know, driving in public, um, you get a strike on your channel. But the problem I have with this is, is that it doesn't specify, you know, it just says if it could, if it's a harming challenge or, you know, if harm is done to somebody, but I feel like it should be changed to public challenges because if you're doing a, you know, challenge in private with your buddies or something, I don't feel like you should be um, punished for that. If everybody's in agreement, I think the biggest problem on YouTube is the um, challenges where people go out in public and do stupid shit and act like jackasses. Um, that's the biggest problem. So I feel like they need to specify that more towards public challenges and um, just to make sure nobody gets their channel taken down for something, you know, something simple and harmless, you know, to uh, most people. But anyways, guys, that is it. I wanted to um, talk to you guys about these changes YouTube has announced they're making. Um, and I want you guys to leave your input in the comment section below because these could possibly affect um, all of your favorite creators in every single way. Uh, YouTube has announced they're currently on a grace period. So basically, uh, creators have two months, I believe it was, to clean up their channels, make sure there's no bad thumbnails or uh, bad pranks or anything. We're supposed to be going through and deleting all of our videos or you know thumbnails or whatever like that. Uh, but you guys know, nobody's going to do that. And I just wonder, uh, you know, who's going to fall victim to getting their channel taken down? It's interesting. I guess only time will tell. Um, leave some comments. You know, give me some feedback. I think this is interesting. I hope you guys do too. So that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys later.